continuing on with this uh, with this leg workout where I'm doing uh, squats immediately followed by uh, front squats. I don't want to say super set. It's kind of like a two minute gap in there. Um, after I finish the squats, that's how long it takes me to uh, unload the bar and set it up for the front oh. squats. Um, but I've been, I've been liking it a lot. I think I only get like six reps here with the squats. Hey. 55, which I wish I could have gotten more. I got seven last time plus a few force reps. Um, ah! Oh no, but I get seven here. Like six plus one force rep. But my control is pretty good. Ah! Um, and uh, then I go and get like 15 reps with the, uh, with 65 pounds on the front squats. Ah! So I'm happy with that. Question is, okay now. Should I? Should I go up? Should I go up on the front squats? Go up to 70 pounds, 75 pounds. Uh, I still get at least like 10 reps. Uh, uh, I just want to focus on keeping my my form good. I say keep I'm mostly talking about mostly talking about staying upright enough, staying upright enough so that I feel like the bar is not trying to roll off the front of my shoulders. Otherwise, the bar is going to roll off. And that certain position is what focuses the stress more into the quads and less into the hips and the hamstrings. So, that's fine. So, yeah, wow, it takes a long time to, it takes a long time to deload the bar. speed it up through there, but um, after I finish my back squats and through the, me setting up for front squats, um, so I probably won't listen to this again, uh, but the thing is, I don't want to take the time to like stop the video and then go and do the, do the yeah. and then restart the video and stuff like that, because I'm, you know, I'm not undoing my belt. I'm not getting a glass of water. I am trying to move from squats to front squats as quick as possible. And that usually means right about two minutes. I'm also not going as slow on my front squats. I'm kind of just trying to pound them out. So, we'll see how that works for me. Thighs. I didn't feel as sore the day after this time as I did on previous occasions. So hopefully that's a good sign because I think my my effort was still on par. That's, that's one of the reasons why I've kind of increased the reps a little bit is I think that some of the really hard exercises put so much stress like on the skeletal structure and stuff like that, and, and just holding the muscles in place. Sometimes it leaves me very, very sore for a couple of days. Uh, and 
you know, am I getting sore? I don't want it to be like in the muscles. Ah! Pretty happy with that. Ah! Stick at the bottom and still push it up. But I think that's a good sign. Good sign that I, I'm, I'm lifting the weight, I'm controlling the weight. those usually lay there for a good minute or so um, before I get up and start rearranging things. Um, I didn't get as many dips as I'd like. What did I get? Like four or five. Um, but I got a really good angle. A really good bent over angle. So I, I really felt it through the, the packs really well. I just like this exercise. It's always been my favorite push exercise. And then, oh, that's right, I do a few negatives. <coughs> I put my feet up on the crossbar and do some assisted ones. The assisted ones are really hard because I have a tendency to <coughs> not assist myself very much. So I make myself work for every single rep. And then by that time, I knew I was toasted. So I got on the floor and I just did some push-ups on my knees because I know I could not do push-ups, uh, traditional proper push-ups at that point. So I just did them on my knees, taking me like five reps. And that's fine. Hopefully that will stimulate the muscle to grow. Ah. So, all right, and then, so that's my horizontal push movement, right? So I'm just grinding. Oh. Um, oh. I do feel that one the next day. I do tend to feel a uh, considerable amount um, of stress in my deltoids and my airlifts as well. Uh, I think they hit the deltoids harder than most people realize. Rose felt I was getting a good rhythm. Um, not too much, not too much sway. Just a little bit. And then, of course, I'm going as soon as I can to uh, do it. Then, I'm right now, I think like 10 reps of deadlifts. And and then I grab the dumbbells, do some dumbbell rows. I don't know if it was the deadlifts or the dumbbell rows. It was like sore. And I was sore. Not in the lower back, like the traditional way in the middle, but on the side. I was quite sore from that. deadlifts and since 105 pounds I'm just really repping them out. It's not totally to failure. 
I can feel my I can feel my lats not being able to hold position very well. So um, so it is creating extra fatigue, extra stress on those muscles. And that's my plan. Also, again, I was ready with the dumbbell rows here too. Where did I get? I do my chin up supinated, I do my um, I do my rows pronated, but I don't love this one. I would do my rows supinated, except I like this to go to the barbell. That's why I haven't gone to just.